Esco's main plant in Portland, Oregon, was founded in 1913 when 41-year-old C.F. Swigert opened the electric steel foundry as a job shop, making diverse products for a variety of purposes. But C.F. quickly realized that for his business to be truly successful, he needed to focus on designing and producing proprietary products for customers in targeted industries. That driving philosophy, which C.F. captured in 1926, continues to guide the company today. A century in business, ESCO has grown from this single location where you find yourself today to an expansive network of manufacturing facilities and sales and distribution offices located in more than 20 countries. Nearly 3,000 people speaking such diverse languages as Portuguese, Chinese, Spanish, Russian, and English find employment at ESCO. Each ESCO foundry is uniquely equipped to make products for the mining, dredging, and construction industries. In this brief presentation, you'll see the production process for a dredge cutter head, a vital tool used in such places as the Panama Canal. Like any product at ESCO, it all begins with the men and women of the engineering team. They continuously work alongside customers to learn what is needed to make their operations safer and more productive. Those conversations spark new product ideas. Designed with the help of highly sophisticated software programs, the product is tested and proven to work. Then it's off to manufacturing. The manufacturing process starts by building the 14 cores needed for the cutter head. Cores form the hub, the cutter arms, the weld land for the cutter arms, and cutter arm adapter sockets. The core creates the desired shape of the cutter head elements and is made by packing coated sand into the forms. A catalyst is added to the sand mixture, which makes the sand harden to a brick-like texture after curing. Cores are also made by using a machine to blow the sand into the core or by using a combination of both processes. A core is used just one time, but the sand is recycled for repeated use. As the core is prepared, the mold is being readied. The top half is called the cope and the bottom half the drag. Sand is dumped into both halves, surrounding the cutter head pattern. The mold is then vibrated to squeeze the sand into place. Drilling vents are inserted into both halves. The core is then placed and the mold is clamped together. The mold now moves to the pouring line. ESCO's proprietary metal is created by melting scrap metal in an arc furnace and refining the mixture through the argon oxygen decarburization, or AOD process. Lab technicians diligently monitor this process to ensure the chemistry is just right and the targeted properties are achieved. The metal is then carefully transferred to a ladle. But this isn't an ordinary ladle. ESCO's ladle carries exceedingly hot molten metal, making the foundry workers' special protective clothing an absolute necessity. Though the finished product will become unbreakable steel, the actual pour is a delicate process, requiring tight coordination between the crane operator and pour. The metal fills the voids in the mold, creating the castings that require several hours to cool. Excess sand is shaken out of the mold, allowing it to be recycled for future molds. After floggers break off the mold patterns, the casing is put into the wheel abrader which mimics the sandblasting process by bombarding the casting with small steel pellets. This process cleans the casting for the finishing process. The cast is placed into large ovens and heated to a specific temperature. The heat treating element has taken ESCO years to perfect and allows the steel to harden to precise levels. Next, the cutter arm casting is immersed into the quench tank to be cooled. Once the cooling is complete, a visual inspection for any imperfections is performed. To ensure a more detailed examination occurs, a magnetic particle inspector is also conducted. Sometimes, like with this casting, repair wells are needed to remove defects. Finally, the connection points of the cutter arms are ground to the proper size, so that shrouds and points will fit snugly during field installation. With the production process complete, the cutter arms and hub are painted, then taken to the distribution center for shipment to customer locations around the world. 
This complex process is just one undertaken by ESCO skilled workers to produce hundreds of products made at our foundries around the world.